Hey guys, this is Eric from Final Cut Studio School, and I am here to show you how a little bit about macros and how to make your own. So, um, to begin with, I'm going to use a few macros that I've got from, I've bought, paid for, or got free from other websites. Um, I'm going to branch off a couple here. Like I, let's see what I got here. I have all these lens flares, and I'll branch off just lens flare here. Here, you can see, looks pretty good. And then. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to my After Effects plugins, which is right here. I've got tons of them. And I'm gonna go down here to Trap Code Shine, and I'm gonna branch it off. So we'll have a couple different looks here. And as you can see, there's our Trap Code Shine, and these AE nodes for Shake are really good After Effects. A lot of stuff you can do in After Effects is right here for Shake for you, and it's a beautiful thing. Um, it really is for everything from trap code star glows to explodes to text text paths scatter effects circles ellipses color keys there's an after effects color key there's after effects blends um, after effects channel mixes after effects eye blurs um, all kinds of good stuff for uh, after effects users if you're curious about shake so now we have these two little things here this has got trap code applied to it and this has just got a lens flare behind it now what if I want to see this what well, how did they make this lens flare uh, how did they do it well go over here and select your node okay right click and go all the way down to where it says macro there'll be a sub menu with three selections make macro show macro or hide macro we're gonna say show macro internals and this will bring up this little box now, let me bring this box over here and open it up for you. This is the inside of that node. And everything that you see inside the nodes, inside of Shake, all the uh, plugins, all the extras that I got, can all be made from scratch using the nodes that come with Shake. And this is how they put together those nodes to make this effect. And if you want to see how one is made, you just go into it and you can see it right here adjust it and you can go in and look at what each step looks like and what the adjustments for are each step you know and then how they add them together and you want to close your macro just hit your little green box here and that closes it down same way with this trap code shine if I wanted to see the inside of it I go to macro show macro internals I think that's the same one we just looked at, ain't it? There we go. Here's our track code shine internals. Let's see what this one looks like. This one's probably a little bit simpler than the last one. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Monochrome, threshold, AE threshold, after effects thresholds, reorder, layer node, a blur node, a contrast RGB. And then you can go and try to reconstruct these on your own. Look how that's a very simple tree. But then again, if you want to get more complex, let's look at our Rainbow Fire plugin. Which is right here. Let's bring it over here and see what the inside of it looks like. Now this one, as you can see, is tons more complicated. This one here is no joke. Let me open it up for you so you can see better. But if you're curious about how they do these complex things, all this was done with the internal nodes in, that come with Shake. Now look at this right here. This is the nodes that are inside that. This is what it took to make up that rainbow lens flare. It really is amazing to go in and look at how they've done everything and how it's made and um, what a real professional node tree looks like. Uh, you can see how big this is for such a small result because it's done the right way, the way it should be done. So uh, let's close that back down. And that's that's that all you get from that. But you also get all these adjustments, you know, with it. 
So okay, so that's how you check out your macros. What if you want to make your own macro? How do you do that? Okay, well let me add some text here. And I'm going to show you how to make a macro. Let's just make a, a common blur macro. So I'm going to select my nodes here. I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to select the blur. I'm going to select my text node again. Go to my layer tab and branch off when I add. Okay? Now we have these two. I'm going to pop my blur down into my I add. Okay? Now, when I blur, adjust my blur, it's going to make my text glow. As you can see. It's just a slight faint glow. Now, what if you wanted to uh, keep this glow? What if you wanted to keep it and have it as a node in your nodes over here? Well, that's called a macro. Like, uh, same thing as a node. And if you made this into a macro, you know, you could come in and replace the text for your own or just leave the text off of it altogether and do it that way, see? So here's how you make a macro. Here are these two little nodes here is what's making up my blur, okay? So I'm going to select them both and turn them green. I'm going to right click, go down to macro, I'm going to go down to make macro. Now this box will come up and what this does, this will ask you what do you want to allow to be adjusted in the macro. What adjustments do you want to show up down here in the parameters box? You can adjust, put all these, you can check all this stuff and make it all available. I recommend keeping it to a minimum. Here's where you name it. I'm going to, I'm going to name it Test Blur. Like that. And I'm going to click OK. I mean, I'm going to leave it the same. I, I don't want, this is just a example. If I wanted to um, adjust the internal spread, I could turn that on. So, and if I wanted to adjust the clip mode or the float percent in the I add, you could turn it on. I'm going to turn the percentage on because I want to do that. And let's turn these on and we'll say okay. Okay, now what happened? It don't seem like nothing happened. But go to your other, not others, but users tab. Scroll down and there it is as you see test blur right there. Now, um, I'm not going to go into how to make an icon. Okay, and you can make icons for that. And we can go over that in another tutorial. So now I have this test blur. As you see, when I take it in there, I have this little blur and glow. And I have my spread available that I, that I selected. I have my percent available that I selected. And I have my pixels available that I selected when I said make macro. So there we go. All I have to do is plug the text into my text, my test blur. No matter what it may be. And there it is. I don't have to go through and build the blur and the I add. I just plug in the macro I made. And adjust it with the settings I told it to uh, have in the node. It's that simple guys. If you have any questions, please, please get a hold of me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. I hope you've learned something. Put together your own macro, guys. Build a slew of them. Build blurs and glows and, and pans and scans. Anything that's interesting that you like, you turn it into a macro and use it. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help. That cut down on two nodes right there. And if I want to see what's inside my test blur, I can open it up. It really helps cut down on confusion and just ease of use. So um, I really hope you guys have learned something. And... Uh, We'll see you next time.